to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. This is the archaeological site of Mansar in Maharashtra. If you had come here 1500 years ago, you would not have found these broken down brick structures and mounds, but instead grand temples, magnificent palaces and large embellished stupas. Right here was the thriving capital of the Vakataka dynasty in 5th century CE. About 45 kilometers from the city of Nagpur, Mansar is an extremely significant historical place today. And it was discovered by chance in 1972 when a local climbed up the Hidimba Tekri trying to look for a good stone to be used as a quern for domestic purposes. But instead, he pulled out a sculpture of Lord Shiva from the brick debris. Currently, it is on display at the National Museum in Delhi. Soon, beginning in 1994, excavations were conducted here which revealed that this was the ancient city of Pravarapura, the capital of the Vakataka king Pravarasena II. He had shifted his capital here from the nearby Nagardhan, which is also an important site today. The structures uncovered and the artifacts unearthed at Mansar revolutionize everything we know of the Vakataka kingdom. The Vakataka dynasty emerged in Deccan, India as a successor of the mighty Satvahanas and contemporary of the Guptas in the 3rd century CE. At its height, the kingdom is believed to have extended from the southern edges of Malwa and Gujarat in the north to the Tungabhadra river in the south as well as the Arabian Sea in the west and the edges of Chhattisgarh in the east. King Pravarasena came to the throne in the 5th century CE and the present-day region of Mansar town served as his capital city, Pravarapura. With the remains and ruins that lay here today, you can easily imagine how grand the capital must have been in ancient times. This is what must have been the palace complex constructed on a vast open ground with a pyramidal structured building. Next is a massive temple with shrines and bricklingas dedicated to Lord Shiva. All the shrines are ornately carved and reflect the art and architecture of the time. Also present in the capital of Pravarapura was a large Buddhist stupa. However, this is believed to have been built even before the arrival of the Vakatakas. Its existence today tells us that the ruler was tolerant towards various religions as Shaivism and Buddhism existed parallelly to each other here. From the top of the stupa structure, you get a breathtaking view of the Mansar Lake and surrounding forested hill slopes. Various inscriptions have also been found here which give us information about the ruler and his capital. There's so much to see and explore at the site of Mansar. Sadly, not many people know of its existence. Even the authorities have not done much to take care of the crumbling monuments here. This archaeological marvel waits to be discovered again by the tourists. <laughs>